Hello everybody, welcome to Tentacle Golf. My name is Nathan and today we're going to be trying the Exio Irons. They're beautiful. Lots of forgiveness, lots of technology, and very, very light. Built for slower swing speeds, so interested to see how, what they're, how they're like. They're both thick. <laughs> we'll try Exio 12 and the Exio Prime. Beautiful clubs. We'll have a competition. One shot from each club. Only seven irons. Okay, Exio 12 first. 140 meters. Oh, oh, oh. Stuck in there. Oh, horrible bounce. Yeah, mallow. We mallow. <laughs> Excel Prime. Stuck in there. Let's try it. That's a shot pulled to the left. Good bounce. Nice rolling in. Good day, good day. Oh, that's not bad at all. Good control, not bad. <laughs> okay, a bit more difficult the shot because I've like I've got them in the rough and I'm getting it over the hill and, and stop it on the green. <laughs> Let's see, more difficult. Requires more touch. No, not that much. It's not bad, not bad. <laughs> that's my 7 iron. My blade 7 iron. Let's try again. <laughs> Come on, Prime. Off the mile. Finish off. Ah, bogey. Come on. Oh, nice and firm. It comes off fast. Okay, this will fall. There you go, there you go. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh. Exio 10 wins first hole. The king, the ex-king of Spain's playing. So this is a good hole to test these seven irons. Because it's short and you have to go over that three. You need height as well. Okay, so let's see. Before I hit it, let me just talk about the technology. Both big clubs. A little bit dirty here. Both of them very far, I'm going to pick up because like uh, they're impossible from here. <laughs> what have we got? X. Well, you got a chance of par maybe or bogey. And the other one in the bunker, possible with a 7 eye. <laughs> we'll call it a draw. Just a little side. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing if you're enjoying the video. Muchas gracias. Many thanks. We are good. Very high, I like that. Very nice. Now I've got another seven iron up. Oh, that went well. I hit it right there and it still went well. Both are pretty similar, 140 meters, 130 meters, 35 meters probably. Going first to the shot is at that building there. Downhill slope with it going away, this was normally it was slice and fade. Turn the body. I think we've gone over it. A bit of punch a bit close. I'll hold it a bit further down. <laughs> you lost, it's out of bounds. I just hit it again, <laughs> but I didn't press the record button. I hit it well, but it goes very high, very high and very powerful. I have to get used to that. That's good, but I'm not used to it. <laughs> okay, you can see. Perfect shots, both of them, in the end. <laughs> but we'll see, well, I think it was the prime was the winner, no? Let's have a look. Perfect there, isn't it? 
And here, roll down, so this be the first one I think. X. So I enjoy playing with them, definitely very high flight, very easy to hit. Um, it doesn't matter where you hit, it's got a big sweet spot. No, it's like a really big sweet spot. So that's fantastic. But but for me, I just lack that bit of control. Maybe it's not, I need to get used to them a bit more, but like, I, I never know how far it's going to go. It seems to go much more than I think sometimes. You just think, I sometimes get a flyer on it. So, but if you've got a slow swing speed, that's perfect. You want, the more distance you get, the better, isn't it? No, really. Um, so you, you probably be very, they'll probably be perfect for you. But for me, just a little bit too, too hot is probably the word, but I'll enjoy playing them and definitely recommend them for slower swing speeds or maybe when I'm older, much older. But if you're looking for distance and forgiveness, these are definitely clubs to consider. Hasta luego, see you later.